Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Batman, a Telltale series. My name is Eric, and in last episode, Bruce got mobbed by the press about his relation to Falcone, which was the mobster of Gotham. So he's definitely in some hot water now. And now there's some police at his mansion, so we're going to find out what happens next. Let's go. Damn, they all over the place. Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. Mm. Oh, okay, but I don't know. Just doing your job, Lieutenant. Trying to. It's hard to be a cop in this city. Every battle's uphill in the rain with skates on. Alfred. Keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. Yep, yep. Do the cops be stealing their jewelry? I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. You need to be the guy doing your taxes. <laughs> Who authorized this? I know you and the DA are buddy buddy, but this one came from the top. Hey. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. What's the corrupted guy? As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. Well, Hill has a history of making his opposition disappear. Rumors and allegations, Mr. Wayne, that's all. But if they become fact, I'll handcuff him myself, same as any other crook. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a That's real true. shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. Very easy for someone to implant something that can destroy me. What an asshole. Didn't even say sorry. Better not be a photo of my parents. I'm gonna murder that guy later. Oh, it was. That cop is gonna go down. Bruce, stay back. Take whatever you want. You, you don't have to do this. Guess they had to throw in the origin story. Bruce. Oh, Miss Vale. I, I didn't mean to interrupt, but... Uh, it's... It's not a problem, really. Ah, oh, Bruce. First the mayor's office, now Wayne Manor. <laughs> Gotham continues its streak of break-ins. Yeah, really going for the record, huh? Mm-hmm. Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. He wants information. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. I appreciate the offer, Miss Vale, but trying to say I'm the good guy here instantly makes you look bad. Mm -hmm. I get it. So let me say it for you. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet, and it's all hearsay. Flimsy sources. There isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family, after me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball and ran. Well, first guess, nosy reporters. The public's fascinated with you, Mr. Wayne. A scandal like this, it's a reporter's dream. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. 
everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. Actually, you need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. All right, I'll on the up. record then. All right, then. I'll Are make sure I make it clean. I'll make it clean. Whoever fabricated these lies about my family, they will get what they deserve. Understood? That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. I don't know, she sounds very happy about me saying that in a very dark tone. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Rail. I wonder why she's using my first name. <laughs> As if she's close. I to hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family? We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents? It's not a coincidence. Oh, he's mad. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. So he knew. Harvey? Cahoots with Mr. Falcone? That's not cool. A warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? Yeah, someone's coming after me. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah. Then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this. I swear. Mm -hmm. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. <sighs> okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And then he's made two enemies. Mm-hmm. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? That just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? It's got to be politically motivated. Hill can't match your fundraising, so he's trying to take out your biggest donor. I don't know. This is a new low, even for Hill. Oh, I wouldn't doubt it. Oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. All right, all right, all right, all right. You should probably distance yourself from me. What? No, no, I can't do that. Well, you may have to. Don't say that. You... There you are. Hey, you. Okay, so, that's not moment. obvious. No, no, just glad you made it. <laughs> that's not obvious at all. <laughs> oh, they know each other. <laughs> they noticed. Tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. <laughs> just election nonsense. I'm Bruce Wayne. So you are. Pleasure to meet you, Miss... Kyle. They know. They instantly noticed each other. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, man. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around so Gotham, much introducing her tension. to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. Gotta say it. How'd you get that shiner? Bruce? It's okay. Money doesn't buy manners, right? <laughs> How'd you get that shiner? I was mugged. Uh-huh. I'm just well, angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Well, I sure hope whatever he took wasn't too valuable. <laughs> Actually, it was. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Oh, sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm going to explain this to my client. 
When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. I'm sure your clients will understand. I doubt it. In my business, people aren't very forgiving. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. I did hey, not know Harvey. Selena was Harvey's girlfriend. No wonder why Harvey hates me. <laughs> well, not me now. I meant in the future. <laughs> oh, that tension. What happens? Nice to meet the real you. Likewise. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention everyone in this cafe. Sorry about the black eye. It's not the first time a man's hit me. Sorry to hear that. Don't worry. I'm not going to expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... Why take the risk? I think you know enough already. The rest is my secret. Mm. And here I was thinking we were starting to get somewhere. How disappointing. No. You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. As I recall, you took something from me, too. Mm -hmm. Hope you're getting some use out of that grappling gun. I'm more interested in how I can use you. Don't be blackmailing These me. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's going to cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not going to lie in it alone. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. All right, you want my help? You got it. What can I do? You can give me back the drive. Not going to happen. Not possible. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address. Now. No. Give me the drive. Selena, please give me the address. Oh, he says, he says please, please when he wants to. Okay, Bruce. Seeing as I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Oh, God. <laughs> Better hurry. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've got to run. So soon? Aren't you going to stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. And don't forget to change into your suit. <laughs> so cheeky. You know, I think Batman in a narrative form is the best way to tell his story. Alfred, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm at I think the, the Arkham series no sign is Cat great, but contact. so much filler, it's too quiet. much action. I just... The sound of an ambush. The story is what Stay matters. on guard. This is a great format for Batman. I think they did a great job. They're doing a great job. It's only the first episode. I'm like hooked, like excited. <laughs> Oh, this is so a trap. Mm. 
This was a trap. This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. Does he already have ties and connections to Gordon? Analyzing. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Nothing what left else? to bury. Suicide bomber? Whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert, non explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. Oh. I'll see what I can piece back together. I've seen these outfits before. Mm. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. Red masks. I feel like... Isn't that supposed to be... Uh, Arkham Knights? Then? The canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. <laughs> Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. Oh, I guess I should open it. Oh, oh damn. Bruce is strong. That is a fragment. Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melted. The scrap of metal is from the exploded canister. But I need to know what caused the explosion. Okay, not everything's collected. It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. Okay. Something was here when the explosion occurred. White Rose. White Rose. Falcone's calling card. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. At least he puts the evidence back. No. That bad? Not in the face. Face slashed. Throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. Ugh, that's big and gruesome. Skyline Club. I lied. Steals evidence all the time. <laughs> Burnt cop. This man's been badly burned. But the damage seems to originate from inside his skull. Wait, what maybe did this? Headshot? Sensors say it's an incendiary route. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Possibly. Causing the aforementioned boom. Is there anything else I need to know? 
blood, broken nails, bits of human flesh. Ugh, really terrible way to torture someone. Oh, okay. Well, that doesn't help. Never oh. seen a bullet do that. Ruin through. Alright, what else is there? Alright, so I'm supposed to unlink these? Thinking that to that. This is a great detective work right here. I love the way the this is. The cop shredded this merc to pieces, barehanded. The nerve agent could make them psychotic. Possibility. Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military. Okay. So far, so crazy. Someone drove off after the explosion. Have you put it together? Yes. Falcone leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. Mm. He's making oh. a big move. Who shot them? One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned him down. Then things turned grim. What a battle. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. And was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Ooh, dead shot. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there, and would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. Master Detective. I'm thinking based on the position. Yeah, I did been here. That's an awesome drone. Both targets could have been shot from here, but no phosphorus trace. Ooh, cigarette. The phosphorus must be from the bullet. Phosphorus spike. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. 
All right, guys. We found the sniper location, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. But uh, if you guys like this video, please push that like button. If you guys uh, have anything to say, leave a comment below. And if you guys want to see more from me, push that subscribe button. See you guys next time. Peace.